Good day and welcome to 501 MacD, where we work smart, not hard. In today's problem, we're given these two octagons and we're told that the total area of both octagons is 20 square centimeters. With only that information, we're to determine the total area of the shaded regions. Give it a try, pause the video here, see what you come up with. So, I'm going to be doing this visually by focusing on one of those octagons. First, we're going to make some construction lines, dividing the octagon into triangles and squares. Then, let's see. Let's take a look at the top trapezium. There is a rectangle there. That rectangle is congruent, in other words, exactly the same as the other ones as you see here. Now, let's take a look at those triangles. So in the top, we have a triangle and there are four of them around the perimeter that are exactly the same. But what about that center square? What can we do with that? Well, believe it or not, four of those triangles also fit in the center. So, when we look at the entire octagon and the top part, which is a trapezium, what can we say about those? Well, the area of the top trapezium is made out of one rectangle and two squares. The area of the entire octagon is made out of four rectangles and eight squares. So, if we find what fraction of the entire octagon the trapezium at the top represents, it would be comparing one rectangle and two squares to four rectangles and eight squares. But when we look at that four rectangles and eight squares, we notice that it's just basically four times one rectangle and two squares. Therefore, the area of the octagon is four times as much as the trapezium, or in other words, the area of the trapezium is one fourth the area of the octagon. Using that information, going back to our original problem, what will be the total area of the shaded regions? Well, since both octagons are identical, then the shaded area will be one fourth of the total area. But the total area we know is 20 square centimeters. So one fourth of 20 gives us that the shaded area is five square centimeters. Did you get it right? Comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video or it was useful to you, please hit that like button, share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.